So it would have a two wheels and it goes in like that. Like a, a toy car, a toy car like that. So what happens is it has to be given some alankarams also. We have in Sanskrit a drama called Mrichakatikam. Mrithu Shakatikam. It is a small car made of Mrithu. The, uh, then in the drama what happens is that uh, uh, the heroine of the drama, uh, she, she has got some alankaras like necklaces etc. So she loves the boy who is playing with the, the Mrithu car uh, made of uh, Mrithu. So Mrithu Shakatikam. She takes out that necklace and puts on the cart. She just uh, puts it to the cart. Now the boy is playing. When the boy is playing with that type of cart which is now adorned with a golden ornament, now what is the view of the boy? For him, this necklace uh, is not an ornament. It is not gold either. In his opinion, it is simply a toy. It is a play thing for him, right? Then uh, his mother, who has put, put this golden necklace onto that uh, cart, uh, for her uh, it is not a great thing, in her opinion. Nobody allowed him temporarily to play with it, uh, because the fellow is inside the house only. If the fellow tries to go outside the house, he will remove the necklace. So he just there only in her presence, uh, before he allowed her to play with that necklace for a little time. So, but during that time also, her drishti with reference to the necklace is uh, that it is an ornament, that is her drishti. Then uh, the hegemony of the house, uh, the owner, uh, he is sitting outside uh, in the drawing room. So he notices this situation. So for him, uh, what is his opinion about this whole situation? It is not an ornament in his view. He may accept that it is ornament, but for him, my wife is having ten to last gold. It is an Abhimana for him. As long as ten to last gold is intact, he wouldn't bother whether it is in the form of a necklace or if some fashion has changed, she decides to convert it into Kankara, he wouldn't bother. As long as ten to last are intact. If she wants to dispose of five to last and give away five to last, he will object. His permission has to be taken. Otherwise, as long as ten to last gold is intact, he is not bothered. His Abhimana is with reference to Gold, ten to last gold. Then uh, a, a goldsmith came to their house at the same time. He saw this boy playing with the necklace. He noticed it and immediately he thought, uh, this is twenty-two carat gold. That is what he thought. Even he is an expert in gold. He is a good man. He is not interested in the necklace or any such thing. He just saw the necklace and immediately concluded that it is twenty-two carat. That the quality of the gold he could guess. For him there is no Abhimana in the uh, gold, it is my gold, that type of Abhimana is not there for him. Now I have described the four situations in which the drishti of each person is entirely different from the other person. But Vastu is there. Vastu is not uh, four things there. Only one Vastu is there. So which is the true drishti among these four? The true drishti is uh, the goldsmith's drishti, that is the true drishti. It is a 22 carat gold, that is the correct drishti. It is my gold, that minus is wrong. It is an ornament, it is even more wrong. Ornament is only Nama and Rupa, it is not Satyam. It is a plaything even worse. So, all the, out of all the four drishtis, the goldsmith's drishti, that drishti just observes the vastu as an object. It is gold of 22 carat. He doesn't have any Abhimana with reference to that. He doesn't have a Raja orientation towards that or a Dvesha orientation. He doesn't have an argument attitude in it. He doesn't have a plaything attitude in it. His drishti is Akalushita drishti. So for him, that is the correct drishti. Similarly, when you look at the Jagat, if you have Brahma drishti, you are like that goldsmith. But the same goldsmith, when he goes to his house, he will have a wrong drishti. I am telling him because that's why I brought the goldsmith to this place. Because uh, he will have a drishti without any garden towards that. So, every person will view the same thing according to his own samskara. So, upadhi is really a big thing. And so, what happened is, yadiha tata mutra, yad amutra tadiha. Amutra means karanam. 
means karma. You see, the ghata is there. Whatever is there here in this ghata, is there, was there, or is there, there at the Kulala's house also. So that way what happens, the Kamutra, which is referring to a distinct thing, that happens to the Karanam, and Iha, the thing which is the Vastu, which is just before your eyes, because it is before your eyes, it is a product, and therefore it is the Karya. So Amutra and Iha, they represent the Karana and the Karya respectively. So this Karana Karya Bhava, whichever is there, it is responsible for making a distinction uh, which is not real. Karana Karya, there itself you make a distinction. Kle Karanam, Ghata Karya. But in reality, I am a Rukum Vacharam, Hanam Vikaro Namad Hillam, Murti Gaityeva Satyam. What is a Ghata? Ghata is a, a particular Saustana of the clay. Saustana means Vinyasa. A, a particular way clay is there. That is Ghata. So otherwise it is clay only. So the Rupa which has come in the clay, but Rupa has no independent existence other than clay. It has no independent. Uh, uh, any character you can weight, it doesn't have an independent uh, weight in, in, but, uh, in addition to that of play. So any taste or any, anything, any aspect of uh, that ghatam is that of play alone. Then uh, if everything else is that of play, then what is this ghatam? It is a rupam associated with the nama. Rupam is a shadow, rupam is mithya, it is not the satya it is like a cinema. So on the screen you find so many things, they appear to be very real, they are unreal. Similarly, a necklace, a, a, a gankanam, etc., they are only rupam, it is the gold in reality. So once who, one who sees the gold in it, he can still wear the necklace, he can keep the necklace as a vastu, no problem, but his drishti is a that of karana drishti, hindak drishti, because he is totally ruled out and therefore he sees gold as a Similarly, a Brahmajnani, for him, the Karana Drishti will be there. So, Yateva Imani Bhutan Jayanta, all this description of Karana Plum is only to develop Karana Drishti in your mind. For that reason, Karana Plum is told, otherwise there is no need to describe the origin of this universe, etc. We are not interested in the origin. Mutual it affects us, that is most important. Because uh, we see that the universe as a karyam and that drishti makes us uh, slaves of the nature and the universe. Therefore, karana drishti is presented by Vishwati. The karana drishti alone makes us see the universality. In the karana drishti, there is no universality. So, it's a very interesting mantra, it is, we will see. Yade Loha Karya Karano Pati Saman Vitam Samsara Dharma Vatu Avabha Samanam Avivekinam Yade Tadeva Swap Mastam Amudra Nitya Vidyana Kanaslohavam Sarva Dharma Sarva Samsara Dharma Vivarjitam Brahma So you have in this world all sorts of things which are Karya in one sense but Karana in a different sense. For example, play is the Karana with respect to Ghata but with its own origin if you see it is a Karana, Karya. Therefore, the entire world consists of Karya, Karana, Upadhi, Samanvitam. As I normally give the example, Chapati comes from the Atta, Atta comes from the wheat. So like that, in this parampara, everything is a Karya of its own higher up and it is the Karana for its own lower down. So like that, this Karya, Karana, parampara is there in the entire universe. So everywhere you have a Karya, Upadhi, Karana, Upadhi, the Upadhi. Is a big thing there that uh, fixes our drishti, karya karana, upadhi samanvitam. Therefore, the uh, entire universe uh, appears to be samsara dharmavat. Samsara dharmavat means uh, 
ఇతరు పునరుస్తువులు పరిచ్ఛిన్న దేశకాల వస్తువు పరిచ్ఛిన్న కార్యకారణ భావ దర్ ఈజ్ ఎ కర్తృత్వం అండ్ భోతృత్వం దర్ ఈజ్ ఎ సుఖాన్ దుఃఖ సో ఆల్ ది సంసార ధర్మ సహ కమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కార్యకారణ ఉపాధి దృష్టి సో దిస్ వే ఇట్ ఈస్ అపియరింగ్ ఇట్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ రియల్లీ దేర్ దే ఆర్ అపియరింగ్ దేర్ సుఖాన్ దుఃఖ దే ఆర్ నాట్ జస్ట్ సాలిడ్ థింగ్స్ దట్ ఆర్ దే దే ఆర్ మెంటల్ నోషన్స్ అలో so you may say that the outside situation is responsible for the notions but our may be the reason but it's a notion is a notion so it is not a solid vastu or anything so avabhasa manam andar avabhasa manam to abhiveki naam hone in vivekti you not have that avabhasa manam shankaraj ji in brahma sutra gave an example we are similar to people tapu samanyat there we have seen this example we are similar to people somebody came and made an announcement tava putra ha there is an announcement made out of those 10 people nine people turned their head because they have in their mind putra pratimana the tenth fellow he did not turn his head because in his mind there is no putra pratimana so the announcement uh, applies to all people it is given to all people equally but many people reacted in a different way one fellow reacted in an entirely different way because for that fellow in his view this putratva bhavana is negated therefore he doesn't react to any such a statement about kala putra hai jyadi so it is all about avabhas avivekinam avabhasamanam vivekinam na avabhasamanam that is the samsara dharma tadeva when that samsara dharma samsara or the jagat alone swap must come when you analyze it and you take it to its swarupa when you take it to its sarva karana karanam that is the atma then what have that is amutra swap must come amutra karane sarva jagat karane brahmane then what it happens it becomes brahma nitya vijnana ghana swabhavam so that brahma which is the chaitanya ghana it is chaitanya dhatu it is so it becomes that in that sarva samsara dharma vivarjitam like even when the plus is negated and the gold is understood so all the properties of a necklace as a necklace it is an ornament it is a latest fashion or it is an old fashion so the latestness or the oldness or ornamentness all the samsara dharmas which are imposed on the necklace the discipline once you recognize it as gold so similarly when we recognize brahma as the adhisthanam of this jagat all the samsara dharmas the discipline brahma remains anyway i will explain to you in a different angle also we will do the next vakyam yacha mutra amishmin atmanisthitam tadeveha నామ రూప కార్య కారణోపాధి మను విభావ్యమానం నాణ్యత సో వాట్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ దట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ దిస్ జగత్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అనలైజ్ ఇట్ రిజాల్వ్స్ ఇన్ దట్ బ్రహ్మ విచ్ ఈస్ ది కారణం విచ్ ఐ హోప్ విచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ సీన్ అండ్ నౌ యూ కమ్ ఇన్ దట్ అదర్ డైరెక్షన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఈస్ దేర్ ఇన్ ది బ్రహ్మ దట్ ఈస్ అపియరింగ్ దర్ ఇన్ ది ఎంటైర్ యూనివర్స్ if you see carefully see what is there in the brahma brahma is a satchidananda ghanam so sat chit anche ananda they are the swarupa of the brahma so if you see the jagat really that the satchidananda ghana alone is seen in the jagat that the characteristics of the brahma alone are seen in the jagat for example the vastu asti gadaha asti how do you know asti bhati because it is bhati asti bhati and the gada is liked by me therefore asti bhati priyam you say priyam if you don't like it then there is something else liked by you with reference to that this like and lack of liking has come therefore always a liking associated with it so no no it is neutral then something is liked by you with reference to that this became neutral so liking is the basis of which neutrality and the lack of liking are different therefore liking is there in some point so asti bhati priyam these are there with reference to every vastu vastu is there 
to seem by me, it is liked by me, or with reference to another thing which is liked by me, it is neutral or it is not liked by me. So this aspect is cleared, asti, bhati, priyam. Then the vastu has not a name, and it has got a hoop. This is the total problem. In this, in this jagat which is before us, this asti, bhati, hoopam, these are the properties of the Karanam that is the Brahma. Whatever is in the Brahma, they are here. And whatever is here, they are there. This Nama and Rupa, they are Mitya, they are not here, they are not there. <laughs> that is how the Jagat is analyzed. Yadu Veha Tada Mutra, Yada Mutra Tada Nuviha, Tatra Yivam Sati, Ugadhi Svabhava Bheda Drushti Lakshanaya, Avidyaya Mohita Santaha, Sanyaha, okay, Sanyaha, Iha, Brahman Yanana Bhute, Parasmadan Yoham, Matonya Param Brahmati, Maneva Pinamiva Pashyati, Upala Pate. So, this is the situation. So, Tatra Yam Sati. Uh, in this situation, uh, what is happening? Tatra Yam Sati. Upadhi Svabhava Bheda Drishti Lakshanaya Avidyaya. I told you Karma Drishti, Karma Drishti. Karma Drishti is the Vidya Drishti. Karma Drishti is the Avidya Drishti. That is the fundamental difference. So the Drishti of the gold is the Drishti of a Jnani. The Drishti of an ornament is the Drishti of the person who is at the receiving end. That's why in the jeweler's shop, the Jnani is at the other side of the counter. The Jnani is at this side of the counter. <laughs> he is at the receiving end. So whatever it is. So that the leprous Drishti is the Karya Drishti. So your drishti is entirely fixed. Anirupati, Upadhi Swabhava. So Upadhi is achieving. So Upadhi says that Nama and Rupa, different Namas and different Rupas. So it is like on the screen of a, a cinema. You see different persons, different things. All different. But there is no difference in that as Prakasha, these are one and the same. So we are not ready to see the Prakasha. If you see the Prakasha, you want to spend 15 rupees or 20 rupees and go to the cinema theater. You can see the house and the Prakasha, which is your own Swarupa indeed. So you don't want Prakasha to be seen. You want the Vichya Vichya only to be seen. For that reason you go there. It's okay, that is justified. But then, in the Jagat also you should not see Vichya Bhota Upadhi alone. But your mind is tuned that way. Therefore, you see that only. Veda Mohitaha. So people are carried away. By this Namarupatmaka Mitsha Drishti, and therefore by, by carried away by that, they are Mohitaha, Vimudha Santaha, they, they do like that. Ye, whosoever, Iha Brahmani, this is all Brahma, it is not Jagat, it is one. Anana Bhute, the Nanatman in this is Kalpitam, it is not real. So in that situation, Aham Parasmat and Yaha, so I am different from Ishvara. And Ishvara is different from me. Matto nyat param brimheti. Naneva bhinna niva pasyati. Therefore he now establishes himself to be isolated. Different from Ishvara, different from the Jagat. This fellow, and in that situation, he has no way out. He has to remain in this samsara as long as this drishti is there. I will tell you this, what is this nana drishti and the anana drishti? I will give you an example. This example is given by Swami Vivekananda. You observe this. There are two people. They both come from Tamil Nadu, say. So they say, apparently they are different. They have not yet met. So he is a different fellow, this fellow is a different fellow. When they meet, oh, we, you are also from Tamil Nadu, yes. I am also from Tamil Nadu. So we both are Tamil Nadu people. So there is a unity. A unity has come. And so now they are not different. Before meeting each other and understanding each other, they are different. But now they are not different. In meanwhile, one Punjab fellow has come. 
So with reference to him they are different, but within themselves they are not different. But then uh, the Punjab fellow and the Tamil Nadu fellow, they say as Indians they are one. So if you maintain the drishti of the prantam, you are different. Tamil Nadu person is different, Punjab person is different. But then the pranta drishti you negate. You take up the desa drishti, rashtra drishti. So we are all Bharatiyas. That drishti you take. Then what happens? Punjab fellow and the Tamil Nadu fellow become one. They are no more different. He is also Bharatiya. He is also Bharatiya. Therefore the difference is negated and unity is established. Then a fellow from America is different now. Person in India and person in America, they are different. Yes, they are different. But then if you consider as human beings, they are not different. He is also human being. This fellow is also human being. In that respect, the difference is negated. So it all, what all we have to do is, uh, with reference to the nationality, if you see, difference persists. You cannot uh, help it. The difference is there. It all refers with reference to the Upadhi. Nationality is the Upadhi. So Pramkiyata is one Upadhi. With reference to that Upadhi, the heaven is there. With reference to nationality, the heaven is not there. With reference to nationality, Vedam is there from an American to India. But then, uh, as a human being, there is no Vedam. So, you have to widen the drishti, that is all you have to do. So, Vedam has disappeared. Now, it is a person and an animal. There is a Vedam. Okay, as human beings, they are one and the same. But a person and an animal, uh, there is a Vedam. It's okay, Vedam is there. As a human being and animal, the type of Upadhi Bheda is there. But if you say living being there, that Bheda is disappeared. There is no more Bheda between a human being and an animal, because both are living beings. Then you may say, a person and a stone, Bheda is there. Yes, it refers to the Upadhi of living being there, Bheda is there. But then if you say as beings, there is no Bheda. Because there is astitva in both, there is bhati in both. So where, where is the Veda? There is also Sadhgana, this is also Sadhgana. There is also Pancha Bhutika, this famous body is also Pancha Bhutika. So where is the Veda? No, no, Kriya Shakti. Kriya Shakti is in the body, Kriya Shakti in the stone also. Lot of attack movements, etc. In which respect you are giving Veda? Veda is with reference to the life you live to understand. Yes. With deference to that Upadhi, Bheda is there. But as beings, there is no Bheda. So, everything is a being after all. And it is being a being there, it is a, an expression of the Sattā. It is a, an expression of the Sattā limited by Desha. The Desha has limited the Sattā. Therefore, I am Ghataha. Ghataha is Sattā and Ghataha Asti. A non-existent Ghata, we are not talking about Ghataha Asti. So what is this Ghataha Asti? Ghataha Asti means that Asti is ignored only, Ghata is taken into account. So Ghata, Upadhi it is. Therefore your mind is fixed on the Upadhi, so you ignore the Asti. Whereas Ghataha Asti, but Upadhi you forget. You look at the Asti part. If you look at it, Ghata is also there, but then Ghata is an aspect of the asti. So one specific aspect of the asti. So in Desha and in Kala, the asti is limited by Ghatta Drishti. So otherwise it is asti alone. So this truth is understood. It is like in childhood, um, my mother used to make some sweets in the form of various animals. So sometimes those molds are available. So you put that uh, atta, mix it and put in that mold and put in the oil and then put it in the uh, syrup of uh, sugar. So now you come out with uh, sugar uh, like a donkey in the sweet, in the form of a donkey, in the form of a horse, in the form of a bird, in the form of a cow. And then all sorts of molds are there. And uh, so you have a number of sweets. Each is in a different shape. So in the chairman we used to fight with each other. I want the cow only. I don't want the horse. No, no, donkey is nobody ready to take. But 
когда нам человек носит, снял цветок, и его танки вырезал ковыли. Ты два цвета. Я свит сам бочек, бочал, со и другу листу калит челака. И что там ты не видала, вы челака и гарат. Сам свит сам не вам ах гарат. Сам свит сам не вам ах каус. Со лайдет дифрент, а бурен бойдс. So you have a particular word, uh, you like it, therefore you want that sweet. Some other sweet comes to you, you reject it. What is this? You are one only. So there are no uh, so many things, all one. Yet the root of and normal, you give importance. So miss the other top one. Similarly, in this universe, so many things exist, but they do exist. That existence absolute is the Brahma, and therefore without existence, is there any Vastu? So without the basis of existence, there is no vastu. So all vastus have their existence in existence absolute. Therefore, existence absolute alone is appearing as all these vastus. So once this drishti you the inculcate, then it is the Chaitanya alone in which the entire universe appears. And in that plain drishti, the nanatvama is negated. And for him there is no samsara. Anyway, you can't do it upon it. Saha mrityoho maranat maranam mrityam punaf punaha janma marana bhava matnoti pratipadyate tasmat tathana pasyate Therefore, you don't concentrate upon the Nama and Rupa. You don't try to um, keep this Karja Drishti alone. So, if you identify yourself with the body, etc., with the Upadhi, and see Upadhi in yourself and also everywhere, then you are an isolated being. So, as a body, you have Janma and Maranam. As a Prana, you have Gati and Nagati. So, all the things will continue with you, entirely depend upon the Abhimana which you have. So that type of drishti one should not have. Tasmat patha na pasyeda. That drishti you should have. Vijnana ikara samni nairantam yena akashavat paripornam brahmaiva avasmiti pasyediti vakyaptaha So nobody has taught you that your body is me. You, you just imagine yourself that the body is me and you are proceeding on that basis. Nobody has really taught it to you. You have not arrived at that conclusion by any vichara or any such thing. So simply, Andhajana Tamda Param Paraya, everybody thinks that the body is me, so you also think that the body is me. That is the only uh, logic behind it. So that the drishti you should, uh, you should overcome that. You are not the body, you are the Shuddha Chaitanyam. Body happens to be a thing which is appearing in you. Body is an aspect of your Swarupa. Body is not different from you. It cannot exist without you. But you are not the body. It is like gold things that are on the necklace. That can be an ignorant, worse ignorance than that. Gold should not think that I am the necklace. Necklace has to think that I am the gold alone. If necklace thinks I am the necklace, If the gold also thinks I am the necklace, then what happened to gold? Gold is no more. Gold is not there anywhere in the concept. So, gold should not be under the impression that I am the necklace. Suppose gold thinks that I am the necklace, then uh, that gold, which is uh, identified with the necklace, it has a depth and it will have a depth. But uh, that necklace, which has identified itself with the gold, has no depth and has no depth. <laughs> so, you are the Param Brahma in which this mind is an aspect. The mind has no existence other than that of Param Brahma. Without Param Brahma, there is no mind. Mind is like a wave in Param Brahma. Without water, there is no wave. But without wave, water exists. In the absence of waves, water does exist. But wave cannot exist without water. Therefore, The Param Brahma is there. It is Sarvam Vyapaka. It is Vijnana Karasam. Vijnana Karasam means it is Vijnana, 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 and Vijnana alone. It is nothing more than Vijnana. It is nothing other than Vijnana. 
Body and mind have no relevance to you. They have a relevance. 